Welcome to a, another GCSE ICT exam revision, sort of walking and talking uh, exam paper. And we're looking at question um, two and what that's all about. So the previous videos that you've um, watched have been about how to tackle question one. And as you know, there are five questions in the exam, one, two, three, four, five, and each has got uh, roughly about 14 marks. So let's have a look at a uh, typical question two content. Um, so typically, and I'm j I just want to put a warning here, it, it does, it might may contain other things, but I've looked through all the, the last sort of four or five, four or five years of papers, and they sort of talk about mainly payment systems, marketing, publicity, viral, this is sort of like online marketing, uh, hosted apps versus local apps, um, searching the internet techniques, refining, boolean, keywords, that sort of stuff. Online community, uh, communities, how you personalize, you know, bookmarks, forums, blogs, online tools, accounts, all that sort of stuff. Um, security, um, payment, paying for things, banking, checks, secure sites, password strength, report abuse, and so on. So tip that is the the um, the the main thing and I probably say and overall this is all about online stuff okay so um, this is about how online communities work all right so um, as you know play pause and do with the website with the uh, sorry with the video and using your your handouts find if you get a question wrong find out what section it is and write down some notes that will help you remember that when you're revising either for the mock next week or for the real thing so um, you've also got the revision guide which is pretty much got everything in it that you need to know so let's go through the 2013 paper question two so first question Karen is shopping in the high street she wants to buy a DVD she chooses a DVD with this QR code on the packaging okay and it, it shows you where the QR code and you've probably seen these okay and it says which one of these smartphone features would she use to input the car QR code okay touchscreen camera infrared sensor or accelerometer okay have a think about that and I'll reveal the answer in three seconds one two three the answer answer is obviously B. It's something that you would um, photograph, uh, and that would take you, okay, to a you know a website. Okay, so that's a way of the camera recognizing it, interpreting it, and taking you to a hyperlink, you know, a um, a particular promotion or, or whatever. Next question: Karen's smartphone has a good internet connection state why this is important when she access, accesses web content. So you've got to state it, it's not a list, it's, you've got to state you know, why is it important. So why is it important that Karen's smartphone has a good in, internet connection? State why this is important when she accesses the uh, web content. Have a think about that. And the answer is that it's important um, that she has a good internet connection um, because it's quicker to download um, items or media. It's quicker loading. She gets a better experience. It's more positive because if she has a bad internet experience, okay, she's obviously going to be you know hacked off and um, be you know not very happy with with the internet. Also, um, a good internet connection gives you improved reliability and improved download speed. Okay, so that's you know one mark, easy one really from any one of those five. Next question: Online hackers are a threat to data on Karen's m smartphone. List. So there's the there's the command word list. So that can be you know two or three word answers two other threats to Karen's data so on a hacker threat to data Karen's got a smartphone she's got data on it I don't know it could be some pictures or it could be uh, I don't know this of contacts or it could be a file or whatever two other threats to Karen's data threats have a think about that
Well, another th other threats could be from uh, apart from online hackers. You don't want to put that because it's already there. Are uh, things like viruses, malware, spyware, uh, tracking cookies, scareware. You know, um, you could actually lose the phone, uh, the data storage, and corrupt it. It could be theft, blue jacking, uh, loss of power, an application system. There's a whole range of things. So don't always think, oh yeah, it's just some bloke in a you know pair of shades and you know in a dark room somewhere it's it's everything from dropping it to um, software going wrong right through to damage um, and other nasty things as well so that's a list a list question next one Karen reads a review of the DVD on a forum okay so she's on a forum so a forum is an online community isn't it and it says it's got movies, TV, community apps, 130 and 100 found the following review useful. Wow, that was an amazing young actress. Da, 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 da. The forum users can rate reviews, describe why the forum ha allows users to rate other people's review. Okay, so there's the command word there is describe. So it's not a list, you're not putting a couple of points. You need to talk about the uh, the features and the key elements of why a forum allows users to rate other people's reviews. Okay, have a think about that. And the answer is, okay, that the forum wants interaction. Okay, it also um, you know gets people to to talk about it, use the forum, get more publicity. Um, also, um, the validity of reviews uh, and reliability of reviews. Okay, because if you went onto a forum and, and you know one DVD had one rating, you wouldn't take it seriously. But the fact you've got um, 113, well, 195, uh, 195 people, 113 found it useful. You know, gives it a bit of uh, um, a bit of street cred. And it also enables a wider group of users to moderate content. Notice what they don't accept. Answers relating to validity, you know, tagging. Okay. So again, quite common sense sort of stuff we've we've looked at in class over the last sort of six months. Okay. Next one. Oops. Oh, I know I've done. Giving you the answer. Bit silly. Um, a forum is a type of online community. List two other types of online community so here's the command word list okay so two other online communities easy come on you should know this so a forum is an online community what else the answer social networks okay that's an online community so Facebook blogs microblogs Wikipedia wikis uh, social bookmarking sites okay uh, chat video sites, online workspaces, web conferencing, virtual worlds, um, okay, um, massively multiplayer online games, okay, VLEs, I suppose our school web VLE is an online community, uh, dating sites, I suppose, um, do not accept message boards as well, okay, it's an online community, you should know these, we've gone through each one in great detail, all right. Next one, Karen registers with a forum. Give one benefit to Karen of registering with the forum. So this is a benefit, this is probably a sentence, isn't it? Give one benefit of Karen registering. So she puts her name in, her details, her email address. What are the benefits of Karen registering with the forum? Okay, have a think about that. Okay, uh, also, you know when you register for things you you typically you know on the online world you get more functionality so you know in this case you can you know maybe uh, personalize her post um, she can post comment review on other people and obviously if you don't register you don't you can only have like a read only get email updates and set her preferences okay and access more features and also report any any issues there. So benefit of registering is they have your details and they are, you know once they've got your details they give you more functionality in the actual um, community. 
Karen is asked to provide her name when registering with the forum. So Karen is asked to provide her name when registering with the forum. List three other pieces of information Karen might be asked to provide. So easy one, it's a list. So she's registering. Uh, what else? You've got name, so it might be, I don't know, Karen Smith. What else might they ask for? What other pieces? What will be relevant? Okay. It won't be a height, will it, or a weight, or an eye colour. What other information? Have a think about that one. Okay, so anything like username, email address, date of birth, location, uh, image, their password, uh, gender, uh, security question, phone number, all the usual things. Just think about when you're signing up to these sort of online communities. Okay. Um, so quite an easy one, really. You should get three marks there. Next question. Karen pays for the DVD using near field communication NFC. So those are the, you know, if you've seen your parents, or maybe you've got this, I don't know. Um, you know, pay for things under thirty pounds at the moment. That's the they just put their card near it. Um, if it's got NFC enabled, um, and it just um, pays. So explain how NFC speeds up the payment process. So this is an explain, it's not describe or list. The command word is explain. So it would be, you know, a couple of sentences stating you know, what it does and how it works and what's it, what's the benefit or benefits of it. So have a think about that. Okay, so um, an exclamation to include users can scan, don't have to insert their card. It's a bit of a pain. Um, if you have to do that, um, you know, you don't have to enter the PIN um, and because it's contactless and wireless, um, it's much quicker. So you can literally flash your card over, it's done. You don't have to um, insert your card um, and literally it's mega quick. Okay, I mean there are obviously some downsides to it as well. Um, I don't know if you um, saw a news article where um, on the tube train, um, this guy was, this criminal was going around with a portable, you know, pin, chip and pin machine, like you get in a restaurant or whatever, and he was just, you know, going up to people and sort of nudging up to them and typing in thirty pounds, and then just going around the carriage and getting um, people's um, NFC to work automatically without them knowing it, because it's something you just flash and it works. So there are some dangers to it. So just a bit of knowledge for the future in case that comes up in the exam. There are dangers, okay? It's too, almost too simple. Okay, so that's the end of question two in, in that mock paper. I hope you, hope you went okay with that and that you made some notes and it sort of, you get the idea of what sort of things are gonna be asked. Okay, hope that's helped and uh, take care.